So in this video I will teach you how to white balance and the basics of skin tones. This is not an in-depth video um, but an introduction tutorial. So here we got a lock image which is why it's so flat. I'll show you how to deal with that later. Um, but essentially we got a color checkout white card here. Um, as you can see so we have a reference for doing white balance. What's absolutely key here is that when you use this card that you point it um, into the key light that your subject is lit by so that is what's used as a reference for the white balance um, and also you can tilt it a bit down like you can see I've done here so it doesn't blow out um, if that's the case so anyway what we'll do here is we'll start out with a white balance um, so what I'll do is I'll pop in a bit of saturation down here because that just makes it <coughs> easier to really see the color cast and you can see it's quite yellow um, so what we do is we go down here to the shapes click this tab here and I do a circle shape clicking here and I just take that edge away on the shape and then I just make sure it fits so I think this is fine or let's make it a bit bigger put it on the white card here I can click up here that will mean it only shows me that part of the image and you can also see over here in the waveform that when I click this we only see that part so this resembles the white card and as you can see the red green and blue channel um, there's more red less green and even less blue so this is not color balanced correctly um, because the white cards these should all be on top of each other which would resemble white um, and when we do the white balance we normally start with the highlights which is the gain tab over here you can see the color wheel and you basically drag it so I drag it a bit down to get the red and you can see over in the waveform that it adjusts at the same time so I drag it down the red a bit and the blue up a bit and the red down a little bit more it might be easier for you if I make it a big screen here uh, let's go back to the waveform um, so you can see it's pretty much white uh, now because they're layered on top and you can also see if I go to the parade scope they're pretty much the same height um, and yeah, the waveform once a white and a line, that's when you've got the white balance. And you can also see in the vector scope, it'll be a small dot in the middle. If there's a color cast, it would move out towards red, magenta, blue, cyan, green, or yellow. But it's dot in the middle. So this is a good uh, white balance we got here just by adjusting the gain wheel. Um, so let me just quickly turn this off so it doesn't show just the highlight but the whole image. You can now see it's white here because it's only the selection so if we turn off our uh, circle here then it applies to the whole image and there we go um, the image is now white balanced and to just show you I can do control D to show you before and after let me just take this down um, so this is before you can see we take off the note with a yellow cast and this is after with white balance so again let's make it big that was before with a yellow cast and this is after with proper white balance so essentially what I'll now do is we will look at the skin tones so let's get a good perfect there so what we do is we press alt s um, and that will add a new note here so I can do that correction in a separate note um, and also what would be good actually here if we want to I can take the saturation double click here back to its starting point if you want to normalize this very flat image um, you can obviously do it. I normally use curves to create that contrast and add saturation um, But you could also just use a lot. So this is shot with a black magic um, Pocket cinema camera, so I have a Rex here a lot that's simply normalized. You can see however That that created the contrast, but it means that the skin tone now look very overexposed um, with the contrast and saturation added, but again uh, you can either use a game wheel to take down the highlights in this image because he's lit the main subject He is the brightest part in the skin tones, and I don't want them to be up here if you look at the waveform Normally of course you can use all different creative aspects for your own decision But normally I would want the top of skin tones to be between the 64 to 70 mark um, Of course that's individual in a dark scene at night skin tones can be darker etc so this is not a fixed rule it's just approximately um, so essentially I'll show you here in the second note now what I will do we'll go back to the 
little uh, shapes here that we can do and I'll do a circle again and take away the shape on the outside and let's then do a good shape here and get some skin tones a good range here we put that on top of him and as before uh, we can click up here in this one so we only see that selection and you can see in the waveform it now only shows that so now we can only see the skin tones and as you can see it's at yeah 900 IRE here which is way too high if I want to be down here um, you know 640 to 700 so we need to bring that down and I can either do that with a gain I prefer to use a curve um, so I simply pull that down this is a low um, low parts also called the lift then we have the gamma part the mid tones and the highlights here which are the gain tap over here so bottom from right was also go here lift gamma gain so that's lift gamma in the middle and gain at the top so the highlights I pull down and follow the waveform over here as I do that you can see it's coming down and then I do a little curve to pull them down a bit more um, so we end up let me pull down a little bit more so here we go so we in down about here and you can obviously see because the skin tones which are more red so they're more red here um, and also they go down quite far actually I don't necessarily want that much contrast on him so I can pull that up a little bit as well or I could even do a small curve here actually so we have a little S curve um, and you can see it's very much now align the mid tones here and that is it we turn off so we show the whole image um, and I will now go turn off here the shape so it applies to the whole image of course now it looks much less saturated because there's less contrast in the image um, let me turn back the shape on actually again and where we can just see that so that was just how to do the the brightness of the skin tones and now I then go to the vector scope which is fantastic because here we can see the colors and we also have a skin tone indicator here even though skin tones don't always lie on this line depending on you know what kind of skin tones they are race etc um, it, but it will lie close to either slightly here over on the yellow side right in the middle or slightly more to the red um, and saturation again depends on skin tones but in general from 20 to 40 percent so the skin tones you can see here doesn't have much color which we can also see there isn't much color um, it lies pretty perfectly let me go back and make it big here it lies almost perfectly on the line here the highlights maybe I could move a little bit more but let's add a little bit of saturation first until we get it about the 30 to about 30 percent on this line so that's about here I'm pretty happy with that you can also see over here that when we turn it off in a second that that's giving him more of that skin tone um, and it looks pretty good actually it lies very nicely on close to the line so let's just turn off the circle format here um, and that's kind of how the image is looking right now with the skin tones um, and let's turn that note off where we had here and back on when we have it here so the image is still a bit flat in my opinion um, could add in still a little bit more saturation and potentially contrast um, to get just a bit more spark in it I do feel that it's quite boring so let's do that I add another note you can either use the contrast adjustment or you can do what's called an S curve here where we pull up the highlights slightly not too much because I don't want to blow out the skin tones and we pull down a bit here in the darker bits um, and you can again see how let me turn it off with control D how that was lower contrast and more contrast after lower and more and let me show you in big so lower contrast and the contrast we just added um, or what you could do let me reset this one you could also do it with a contrast here adjustment over here we pull it up and that would also give you let me make it big for you here again off and on um, so that's kind of how we did the white balance and work with the skin tones 
Um, so I hope that makes sense. I still feel, you know, the skin tones are a little bit off, so we could do more work on them, but this is just a basic tutorial for now. So I hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.